Hi, everybody, and welcome to Discovery Days with the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and Gaylord Pickens Museum. We're so excited you guys are here and can't wait to get started. We want to take a quick moment to say thank you to our sponsors with the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation for making free family programming in 2021 possible. All right, as you guys know, this is our museum located here in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We love this museum and love even more that we get to share it with all of you. We are open to the public or normal hours again. So we're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to five and Saturdays, nine to two. We have free admission through the end of May. So make sure to come down and see us. Our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people. Every day we work really hard to share the inspiring stories of Oklahomans with all generations because we believe that Oklahomans are changing the world. That includes each and every one of you. So our Oklahoma Hall of Fame member feature today is that of uh, Paul B. Sears. Sears is considered one of ecology's most important and wisest voices. So in case you guys are wondering, ecology is the study of organisms, which are animals and bugs and all kinds of stuff, everything that has life here in our, here in our, um, in our environments. So ecology studies organisms and their relationships to each other and to all of their surroundings. So the world around them and how they all function together and work together to make this crazy world work. So he has eight books published and his work has been used in multiple campaigns to help our environment. And he has served as an expert on many boards and committees around the country on ecology to help improve our community's knowledge about these things. All right, so we're going to read a fun story today. You may have read it before called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, one of our favorite organisms. I'm going to go ahead and switch this over so that way you guys can see my book as we read along. All right, so we're going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. All right. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. You guys see the egg here? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. The little bitty egg became this guy. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but guess what? He was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Man, Caterpillar needs a lot to eat, doesn't he? On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. So he was eating a hole in each one of these. Okay, what's he gonna eat next? On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss, Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. I bet he did after eating all of that. Also, I think it's funny on the cheese that even though he ate the hole in it, you can barely see it tell because of all the holes in the Swiss cheese. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Seems his greens and his vegetables helped his stomach feel better. Because our vegetables help us grow big and strong, right? So what's he gonna do next? Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. See how big he got? He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and what's he gonna be, guys? He was a beautiful butterfly. Look how beautiful he turned out. How fun. Well, I think we learned a very important lesson from the very hungry caterpillar. We should always, always, always take care of ourselves and eat good things for our bodies, right? even though some of those things are really good, like cake. chocolate cake is my favorite. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our craft here. So we're gonna need a couple of things today. We need a green piece of paper, some pom-poms and some glue dots. All right, here, let's see. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a crown. I'm gonna use a crown here so I can draw a leaf and you can make your leaf shaped however you want to. And I'm gonna need a stem. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on it. I'm gonna, I know leaves have, you know, the leaves have some veins going through them. So I'm gonna draw some of those on here. Give my leaf a little bit of character. Now I'm gonna cut it out. Remember, you can make your leaf however you want it to, big or small. So once I get this cut out, okay, set that aside. All right, so now that I've got that, I, we're gonna make a caterpillar on our leaves. So we're gonna use glue dots or glue stick, whatever you have in our pom-poms here to make a very hungry caterpillar. So I'm gonna take a glue dot here and I'm gonna put my caterpillar in kind of a funky line, I think. So I've got a glue dot and I'm gonna add a pom-pom and press down real hard. Okay, there's one. And I'm gonna get this other one right up next to it. I think I'll use the purple one. All right, and I'm just gonna keep using my glue here to draw my, or to make my caterpillar. I wanna make him kind of squiggling across the leaf. All right, so let's see here. Curve him back down here. Okay, and my last one. All right. So now I've got my caterpillar going across my leaf there. All right. So now I'm going to take some crowns and I'm going to I'm going to work on my leaf a little bit, add some color to it, and you can do this however you want to. You can draw. I think I might even draw. Maybe I'm going to draw those strawberries that our caterpillar just ate. I'm going to draw one down here. Draw a couple of them. You can even cut a hole in your leaf like he ate through it. All right. There we go. So I have just made my very hungry caterpillar. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing this and hold, so I can hold this up. If you wanna give your caterpillar eyes or if you wanna draw them in his cocoon, however you wanna do that, or you can take a big piece of construction paper and you can put your caterpillar on there and draw a whole scene, all right? Well, make sure to send us pictures of your artwork. We love being able to see all of the awesome creations that you guys create. You can send those to us at pics at oklahomahof.com. I had so much fun with you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.